Hello and welcome to our new charter number 23 Fashion Support Academy. In this new episode, we are going to talk about the error message communication link failure. Normally, this error means that you are using ODBC and you lost the connection. My name is Jose Manuel Jurado. I am a scholarship engineer in working in Microsoft and subject matter expert in this technology. But when we are going to receive this message? Well, basically it's when our application lost the connection or when we have an issue in, in terms of login. How to find this problem? Basically, you are going to receive error message mainly following by the client driver or the protocol or DVC. And finally, is how to fix the problem. Well, we need to review uh, if we have any network issues, we need to review if our target or application server uh, is uh, the, the workload is very high, or in, in this case, the best simple, simple thing is to implement the retry logic and connection level and execution, uh, common execution. Well, let's try to reproduce the issue communication leak failure. Basically, uh, in this situation, normally this error is coming from when we're using the uh, ODBC driver for the reason uh, I changed right now uh, the protocol, sorry, the driver to ODBC. So I'm going to run to, to use the same application that we are doing right now. My application, depending if I'm going to use a.net or ODBC is working in an one another way. Uh, right now, it's, as you can see, everything is working well. Uh, I receive uh, the data, it's, it's running well. Uh, using ODBC, this is the driver that I'm using, this is the speed, etc. So I'm still running and I'm going to simulate one issue uh, that have in my application. So right now, as you can see here, this is the problem. They mentioned that a uh, link filer, okay, uh, the TCP provider existing connection was supposedly a closed by the remote host, a connection link. I'm going to, uh, let's say, uh, enable the, the connectivity uh, against the, the, the server. As you can see, sometimes we could have other messages, but at the end, uh, we are able to, to obtain again the connectivity. So for the reason in this case, uh, I think that is very, very important about the, to implement the, the retry logic in this part. Okay, thank you so much for attending these sessions. If you have any questions, please send an email to gmjurado at microsoft.com.